In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct simple keyword searches using library databases. So I'm working off of the research guide for biology. And if I scroll down, you will see there's a list of useful databases that we recommend for students who are studying this subject. And that's for majors and non-majors. I'm going to start using one of my favorite databases, which is Academic Search Complete and I'll just click on the title. If you're home, you might be asked at this point to stop and log in using the same credentials you use to get into Canvas. So I'm looking at the search box and I'm going to conduct a search um, looking for articles that talk about evolution and human disease. You know, what has been the impact of evolution on human disease? And to do that, I'm just going to construct a very simple keyword search. So I'll type in evolution and human disease. And I just want to point a few things out about my search right now. You can see I have evolution written here. The AND is in all caps. That's because in this situation, AND is a Boolean operator or a command to the search engine inside the database. So it's telling the search engine, only bring me back articles that talk about evolution and the next term. Human disease I have in quotes because I want the database to only bring me back results when those two words are next to each other. So let's see what happens. So I can see my results right now and I can scroll down. There are different ways you can limit or refine your results, and I'll get into more of those in another video, but the one you guys should always do is click this full text button. That's going to limit your results to only items that are library owned. And when I scroll through here, if I see something that looks interesting to me, I can read the abstract. So it'll give me a summary of the article. If I want more information, I can click on the link. It's going to tell me what journal it was in, when it was published. It's going to give me some subject terms, and I could launch a new search in the database by clicking on any of these. And then most importantly, it's going to link me to the full text of the article. Which I have right here. Once I have the full text, there are several things I can do. I can save it to a Google Drive. I can print it. I can email it. Um, I can download it. And I can also grab the citation by clicking this link right here. If you're using one of the common or popular citation styles, such as APA or MLA or Chicago, there are citations right here you can copy and paste. If you're using the CSE citation format, you could grab one of these citations and then you'll be able to use it um, to format your citation in the correct style required by your professor. Um, and there'll be more information on the research guide for biology on how to do that. Now, of course, you know, we have multiple databases that you can use for this type of research and every database will specialize in a different type of information. So some topics you can find more information in a different database. It's like going to the store. Um, if I need to buy some laundry detergent, I'm not going to find it at Macy's, but I will find it at Target, right? Um, I might find certain brands of laundry detergent at a small target versus a big target. So you kind of have to poke around. So let me show you a couple more databases just to give you the flavor of them. So we have Green File, which is another collection of information with the same kind of interface. And I can do a search in here, evolution, the same search, and human disease. And I get far fewer results in this database, but for a different kind of search, say evolution in agriculture,
I get a lot more, right? So like I was saying before, you want to match your search to the right, you know, set of information. Another um, resource that you might like a lot, Science Direct. Right, and the same thing, I want to limit in this database, I want to limit to subscribe to journals. And then I can kind of go through here and look for different types of articles. When I open it up, I can see some highlights, I can see the abstract, you know, keywords, the article is right here. If I come up here, I can download the PDF. So hopefully with these sources, um, you'll be able to find the research you need for your class very easily. And if you watch the next video, I'll talk about how you can narrow or refine your results by date or by type of journal article.